This is the Dura Ace pedal with the plus 4mm on the spindle. It actually gives you a better clearance from your heel to your crank arm. My first impression of a Dura Ace product is that it's always elegant. Even the packaging, look at it. It's so nice to hold. How can we not expect the best from Dura Ace? It's the best. You have to always remember the three main contact points of a cyclist and the bicycle which is the handlebar. We recently saw the canyon with like an X-wing handlebar and then we have saddle and then pedal. And if you have the money, I suggest you to invest on these three main contact points, buy the best components and then don't worry about it. These are actually Shimano spacers. It's like two pieces of 2mm and then uh, they also give you one piece of 1mm. This is also the first time I'm using a blue cleats. I uh, have a 2 degree float. If you remember, looking at the photos from uh, Cycling News, you can see that Mark Cavendish in the World Championship that he won, he actually had like an extra 10mm on his pedal spindle. You can fact check that, I'll uh, post a link on the video below. And also you will see that Bradley Wiggins when he was riding for Team Sky, he's using speed play pedals. Now speed play pedals, you actually can customize different length of your spindles. And I remember reading somewhere that he's actually using the longest one. But then from the videos and photos that we see him riding, his knee are still very close to his top tube. If you ask me anything about bike fit, I wouldn't know much. But the point is, whatever works for you, longer spindle standard, just go for it. So now we want to do the unboxing of this Dura Ace pedal. As you can see, it's very nice design, has like external sleeve. Talking about attention to detail, you know they even put the dimension of the sleeve and the box which is different. Open up the box. Is it heavy? No, it feels like it's heavier than my look cure pedals. And you can see here this is like a plus 4mm. This gap right here is 4mm. So starting from this grey piece of spacer to the edge. And this is the other side. I always ignore this important warning. And then of course it also comes with the blue standard cleats which is 2 degree float. Look at this, this is different from, from this. Yeah. This looks like a bit more standard and traditional. But this one looks like they got some star patterns. I think this is lighter, but I'm not sure. So this plus minus is for you to adjust the tension. I never had to do it on my look pedal because my look pedal is a piece of carbon and it's already set. And this is the 8mm Allen key for you to fix on your crank arm. You might want a longer Allen key than this one so that when you put it on your crank arm on the drivetrain side, you can avoid rubbing your wrist against the chain ring and also you know, prevent you from cutting yourself. The Dura Ace pedal also have a lower stack height compared to the previous design. The reduced stack height allows for a better power transmit. I would like to know what type of pedals do you use and of course the cleats that you use and whether you are using a standard spindle like a, or extended ones like mine. So I hope you like this review of the Dura Ace pedal R9100. If you like this, please subscribe to Imin Studio and as always, thanks for your time for watching. Bye bye. Speaking about attention to detail, I'm actually very impressed with the designer of the packaging. Look at this uh, blue plastic. The blue one actually means the right side pedal and the red one actually means the left side. So you can see, very attentive, I like it.